Hi everybody, Miss Peanut Head here today and we're going to learn all about makeup. Well, we're not going to learn. I'm going to show you how I do my makeup every day. So, we're going to start off with some primer. This is from Becca Cosmetics. Totally love this stuff. It's super awesome. So, I am just going to apply this on the areas that my face gets oily the most, which is my forehead. And I'm only applying this one particularly in the areas that are oiliest because it's super matte. Okay, so you're going to apply this all over that beautiful face of yours. Okay, so I'm all done with that one. Move on to my other primer, which is Perfectly Posh's Under Wonder. And I'm going to use that on the other parts of my face because the other one is just a little too drying. A little too drying for me. Not a big fan. So, we are just going to let that sit on our faces for a little bit. Getting a little crazy. Ooh. So, now that that's all done with my face, we're going to go in with our foundation. So, I'm just going to dot this all over my face. It's going to look like I have some kind of illness, so prepare yourselves for that. Do, 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 do. Take my booty blender. Just blend all that ish in. You don't gotta be perfect. Just make it work. If you don't want to spend the money to get an actual name brand beauty blender, that's totally cool. Because Real Techniques has got an awesome one. And I'm going to show you that one later. So again, just dotting up my face to make it look like I have some kind of illness. Because that's just how we roll in the Shire. Da -da -da. And I am just taking this and I am blending up and out. Up and out, up and out. And I'm dotting all over my face. I am not rubbing. I'm dotting. And this is the foundation I got at Sephora um, almost a week ago. Actually, no. I got it on Sunday. I got it on Sunday. So it's just been a couple days. But I've had a chance to, to play around with it. And so far, I'm a big fan. Very lightweight. I've been using Kat Von D for a very long time now. And it is like bay. I'm totally obsessed with it. I love the way it feels. I love the coverage. I'm a big fan. But this one just uh, stole my heart, so I've been using it every day instead. It's a little less coverage than the Kat Von D one, but I still really, really like it. So now that we're all done with our foundation, we're going to move on to concealing any blemishes. Um, I don't have any that I particularly need to cover up today, but I will show you what I use. Um, this is from The Balm. I totally love it, and it's just a cream concealer. I can dot it wherever I need it. Super awesome. But now we're going to go in with our Cargo HD Concealer Pen, which is a few shades lighter than what I am, to highlight my nose and under my eyes. So just take that pen, go straight down your nose. Take that pen, go underneath your eyeballs. Oh yeah. It's beautiful. Am I pretty yet? take that on the other one and you notice I'm doing a V pattern well like a triangle actually triangle shapes because again that's how we roll in the shire I'm going to take my beauty blender again and just blend 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 and take that taking the point under my eyes and then blending up and out up and out up and out Again on the other eye. Up and out. Girl, you looking fine. And now that that's all done, I like to set it using my Sephora Bright Set. And this is the color Banana. And I, I'm going to take my Real Techniques one with the point. Just going to dab some of that powder 
And I'm gonna dab it underneath my eye. And I'm gonna dab it on my nose. I'm gonna dab some under that other eye too. Okay guys, this process is called baking. Nothing new, very popular in like the drag queen and like high fashion editorial kind of suit. So it is to make that highlighter underneath my eyes and on my nose pop a little bit more. And you will see after I remove all of this lovely business, it'll, br it'll be really bright and it'll pop. But you just wanna let this bake for as long as possible before you remove it. So I like to do um, my little baking dance. Baking my face. That's really, that's about as much as the dance consists of. I'm, I'm not very skilled in the dancing area per se, even though I danced for like a bazillion years. I just wasn't very good at it. I kind of dance the beat of my own drum, even though my drum doesn't exist right now. So I'm gonna take this really cool fluffy brush. You can see a little bit of powder coming off that. I used it this morning. And I'm just gonna wipe away. I know. Up and out like we did when we were applying it. Up and out. Uh, and you can see it's super bright under my eyeballs okay moving on to actually putting makeup on our eyelids this is my Urban Decay Primer Potion totally love it it is awesome sauce and I'm just going to take a little bit and put it on the tip of my finger nothing crazy God gave us some pretty good tools why not use them and I'm just gently going to tap this in I have contacts in already so I can't rub too hard on my eyeballs or they'll move and I really don't feel like having a contact slip behind my eye and all that craziness happen. So I'm just going to let that prime on my eyelids for a little bit and I'm going to talk about the palette that we're going to be using today. This is from Morphe Brushes. It's the 35N palette and I love it. It's super matte. Um, matte's probably my, one of my favorite things now. I love, woo, sorry about that guys. I love glitter. I love glitter. I love bright colors. I love all that. But occasionally I like matte. And since we're going for kind of a natural look today, that's what we're going to do. So, this is the colors. We are going to be taking this lovely color right here and just applying it on top of my Real Techniques Bluffer brush. This brush is in their eye kit. So, you can just grab that. Very inexpensive. Very good. And I'm just going to gently apply that in the inner corners of this eye. Do do. Do do. And again with this eye. And it is a, it actually kind of matches my skin tone already. Which is why I love it. Because it's just, it's a really good color to kind of face off of. Then we're going to take our Luxie brush. This one is 205. Yeah, 205. And I will show you. It's a fluffy brush. I love this brush. It does all of my blending for me. It makes my job so much easier. Again, back to the Morphe palette. This really pretty pink color right here. We are just going to take some on the tip of that fluffy brush. Tap off the excess. And that is going to be applied right in the middle of our eyelids. Do, do. Applying some pink. I love pink. Pink's one of my favorite colors. Pink and orange. I love pink and orange. I love bright colors. Again, take that fluffy brush and we are just going to apply that to the middle of our other eyeball. And then, to get the pink off the top of this, I am taking my Sephora brush cleaner. I'm spraying it on top of a washcloth and I'm just going to swirl just to get that pink off before we apply our second color. Our second color is a beautiful chocolate brown right there. Again, just dip that beginning of the fluffy brush in it. Tap off any of the extra. I like to pretend I'm smoking because, you know, I'm just so fabulous like a 50s supermodel movie star. 50s movie star. Smoking is not good for you. I don't encourage it and I don't condone it, but I just occasionally like to feel like Marilyn Monroe. And I'm just going to take that brown color and just starting with the outside of my eye, I'm just going to blend it in. 
Just blending, blending, like a ninja blender. And again, this fluffy brush is doing pretty much all the work for me. I don't really have to do too much, and that's why I love it. That's why I recommend it. Take some more of that pretty chocolate brown, tap off the extra, and just apply to the outside of your eye. Just blend it in, blend it in, blend it in, blend it in. And I am just about done blending. I'm going to make sure they're a little even. Ooh, you're looking good, girl. You're looking good. Your milkshake is bringing all the boys to the yard. Or girls, if you like that, that's cool too. Milkshake's bringing whatever you like into the yard. Okay, I'm going to take my Too Faced. And this is the Instant Attitude Brow Lift. I got this, um, not yet, yesterday? Day before. I got this like two days ago. And just because I wanted to see how it would work. And I actually kind of like it. So I am just going to apply that underneath my eyebrows. And I'm actually going to do this again too. But I like to define my eyebrows before I actually start working on them. And I'm just going to blend that in to my eyeshadow. I do this before in case I accidentally get any on my eyebrows. I can just touch them up later. Get underneath my eyebrow right on that arch to highlight and make that arch look even more fabulous so you can get the people's eyebrow going on little nod to any of my wrestling fans out there or anyone who grew up in the 90s and like watching The Rock so I'm all done with that so now we're gonna work on our eyebrows this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills brush it has a really pretty flat end and a nice spoolie end to pick up any extra product that may be on your eyebrows. So just take just a little bit, just a little bit, a look with, sorry, it's a little Pygmalion thing, and just gently brush, 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 and then flip over that spoolie. Make sure you're not leaving any extra product in there. Do, do, do. And then we are going to just take that flat end. Pray to the brow gods that this tail works out. Make your tail like a mermaid tail. Well, you don't actually make it like a mermaid tail because they're kind of like forked and whatever. Dorsal fin? Dorsal fin? Tail? Whatever that is, you don't want that. But I, I hate trying to draw eyebrow tails because... Ooh, look at that! I did pretty good. I did pretty good. I'm quite proud of myself. And we're going to try to repeat the process on the other side. Your eyebrows are sisters, not twins. It's okay if they're not perfect. Just own it. Just own it. And I'm just going to take that. Again, do the same thing like I did on the other side. Flip over to the spoolie end to make sure I don't got any extra product than what I need to make my brows look fabulous. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah! Sorry. Channeling my inner Macho Man Randy Savage. Okay. Here's the difficult part. Trying to make your tails the same. Oh, jeez. feel like Tina on Bob's Burgers with her, uh. That's how I feel every time I try to do this. My brows are sisters, not twins. And it's okay, because they're still beautiful. Right? 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 Hey, not bad. Um, I think we all have a favorite eyebrow. This being my favorite eyebrow. And now that I'm all done with that, I'm going to go in again with my Too Faced Instant Brow Lift. I'm just going to bring a little bit more to kind of clean up the edges underneath. Clean up that edge just a bit taking a nice angle brush and just gonna blend blend that ish out blend till your hand falls off yeah buddy that's what I like moving on to finishing our face we're gonna start off with some bronzer the bronzer that I use is Park Avenue Princess by Tarte I got this in an ipsy box and I totally love it 
I'm taking my Real Technique Sculpting Brush. Just gonna brush, just a little bit. Remember, tap off the extra. And I'm gonna start right where my cheekbones are. I have pretty defined cheekbones already, but I like to accentuate, because who doesn't? So I'm gonna go from like, bar round face to posh spice chiseled face, Mrs. Beckham. So just taking that, just a little bit. You don't gotta do this part, you can totally skip this part. Contour, if contouring isn't your thing, don't feel obligated to do it. If you like contouring, more power to you. If you don't like contouring, again, more power to you. Just make it work for you. And I got a little bit of this double chin thing going on, so I'm just going to take again a little bit and create a nice shadow. Create a nice little shadow shadow. People ask me, oh, Sabrina, have you lost weight? No, just learn how to contour better. And now that we're all done, and you can see I got a little bit more chiseled face going on, we're going to go in with our Becca. This is blush copper. I am in like love with this blush right now. It's just the bee's knees. So I'm gonna take an angled blush brush, just dip it in there, tap off the extra, and let's go to town. Ooh yeah. I love this blush, yo. Me and this blush, we're homies. My soul sister. Yeah, buddy. And again, on the other side, tap off any extra. And you want to stay on the apples of your cheek. Which are these? These are the air holes on your cheeks. You don't want to go past that laugh line, which is this little dude. Right here, your smile lines. Because it'll just take the blush. I'll make the blush look all crazy like. Unless you totally like that, then you are more than free to let that blush go crazy like. I know this looks like I have a ton of blush on, but once I put setting powder on my face, it kind of takes that like look out of it. And now we are going to go on with highlighting all over our faces. Again, this is Becca. I love Becca. They're so wonderful. This is Champagne Pop. I'm obsessed with this color. This color is... TheBomb.com. Jaclyn Hill, you did a phenomenal job. So high fives to you. Highlight is about to be on fleek, yo. Again, my Real Techniques brush. This is a fan brush. And I'm just going to take a little bit of champagne pop and apply it right on the tops of my cheekbones. Woo! And this is just going to accentuate that lovely bone structure you already got, homie. Again, just tap to tap, tap to tap, tap. And then I'm going to take a little bit and go straight down my noni. Ooh, yeah. And since I love highlight, I love highlight, I love highlight. I like to glow like the beautiful goddess that I was born to be. So I'm going to take my Urban Decay one. This is the color Aura, and I just totally love it. I totally, totally love it. Again, taking that fan brush, and I'm just going to gently apply this on top of my champagne pop to make my highlight even that much more on the leak. Again, and straight down my nose. I'm looking fine. At least I feel like I look fine. Okay, so I'm going to curl my eyelashes now, and um, I hate to let people watch me curl my eyelashes, so just uh, pay attention to this lovely sign. Oh, yeah, nothing, nothing's happening over here, just, just this sign. with Maybelline Full and Soft. I love this mascara. It is just thebomb.com. I say that a lot, by the way, but it really is. It's cheap, it's affordable, and it's my holy grail. So I'm just going to take that. I'm going to wiggle up and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle with it. 
Wiggle with it. Wiggle with it. Wiggle with it. Wiggle with it. Make your mascara work for you. If you have a mascara that you like better, then you make that mascara work for you, homegirl or boy, either way. Or not. I mean, if you don't identify as either, that's cool too. Just make it work for you. Whatever you identify as, make it work for you. And then underneath my eyes, my little lashes, my little, little, little lashes, I use Telescopic. This is by L'Oreal. I just really like this brush, and I feel like it just gets those little itty bitty lashes a little bit easier for me. So, I'm just going to take those lashes. Do, 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 do. And my other lashes. Oh yeah. All done. Now we're going to move on to just kind of completing this whole look by again applying a little bit more highlighter. So I'm going to go back to my champagne pop with this little itty bitty brush. Just this little itty bitty brush. Just going to dab it right there and then right on my cupid bow to make my upper lip look a little fuller. Now that we're all done with that, let's move on to some color because I got a little foundation on my lips and it's not a good look. It's not a good look for anybody. So I'm going to start with NYX. This is their soft matte lip cream. The color is Stockholm. Again, a very inexpensive product and I just love the color. It kind of ties in this whole pinky brown look thing we got going on. So let's just apply that real quick. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And I'm starting with my cupid bow. Let's move on to that lower lip. Starting at the outside. And meet in the circle. Start at the outside. And meet in the middle. And we are all done. <gasps> Ooh, don't we look fab? And then I like to finish. I was going to finish with a setting powder. I decided not to. I'm going to be finishing with one of my favorite setting sprays. This is from Perfectly Posh. It is called I've Been Set Up. And it smells like chocolate mint. So, just going to take this. I'm going to pump some on my face. Now that I feel refreshed, I'm just going to let that dry. And that's it. You have a wonderful, wonderful natural look that you can wear with anything. I'm actually wearing a super cool shirt today. So I kind of want to go with a pink vibe. But that is all that I wanted to show you guys. Super quick, super easy, super fabulous. And I hope you have a wonderful day. You like this video. Be sure to like and comment if you want to see more videos like this. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. I love you all so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.